Alright, just by the colors, that one looks like a half neutral, half flying, flying chow, running chow, running chow, running chow, running chow. That one's got kind of a purple, he might be like a running flying kind of thing. And this is just because I played chow a lot, and like, you get to learn when like the colors and the shapes of their head and where they're going with that. Um, but those are just my guesses as to what the chow look like. So yeah, nothing really excited. This is probably the most boring of all the races. It's just because it's just one big straight running lane. So now we wait and we hope we don't trip. That's the main thing. Tripping can screw you over. Like, because you can trip a lot more than Boobies has been tripping. I know when we were first doing the uh, beginner flying ones a couple parts ago, he was pretty bad. But um, you could trip like three times in this race. And it would be, it would, that would probably be, that would start to be considered bad luck. But tripping once, I believe, in a race this long is almost expected. Uh, I am not sure whether or not your running stat or any other stat, perhaps a hidden stat like luck or smarts or intelligence. Because there's hidden luck and intelligence. I don't know if I mentioned that yet. But I don't know if those stats or the running stat at all affect how often your chow trips. I have no idea if that affects that. Man, we are blowing these dudes out of the water. Or if tripping is just a random occurrence that may or may not happen to your chow at any given moment. I'm not sure, either way. But it looks like we could trip here and still be fine. I've had a, I've had chow races before, like when I've played this game in the past. Where I've gotten to like, here to the finish line, and I've tripped two times before the finish line and barely lost and be so cheesed. But yeah, as you can see, I only stamina boosted him two or three times and we're actually almost out. So if that race was a bit further, we, we still would have been alright, I just have to make sure I don't stamina boost, at least for a while, because stamina is his worst stats, even though he's got a level 16 or 18, I think he's 19, level 19 in uh, stamina, I still gotta be careful with it, because he did, he does have a shitty stamina stat. His Bs and everything else is what make him awesome, but his stamina stat just means I can't spam that button as often as I would like, which is not a big deal. Now we move on to the last of the jewel races. Garnet. And it's the power one, so yippee. I believe this one's gonna have a lot of running, a little bit of flying, and of course power is what it specializes in. But like I said, I used to have my first chow, like, like that I ever raised, I just made, he was, I gave him a bunch of unicorns because I wasn't sure how it worked. I didn't know exactly how the chow drives worked. I was a little kid. I didn't know how exactly the chow drives worked. I just knew how to get the unicorn and the tails level. And I just gave him a crap load of unicorns. I just gave him a crap load of unicorns. He was really good at running. He could kind of fly. He could kind of, he kind of had power. You know what I mean? He could kind of swim. But his running was so good that, like, I could win almost every race like that. Um, I need to quit using stamina. I don't want to burn it all up. But I wanted to fly over those guys. So that way they wouldn't be in my way. Because sometimes if Chow are in front of you, flying, swimming, it's, it's there. If you're trying to climb faster than them in the power, they will hold you down like to where your chow can't get around them and so that's why I like being out in front like that because or at least even with them okay see this is a power one that we haven't got to see it so we climb up this wall oh shit and then we trip on our face come on get up get up this is where power gets tested okay so your chow runs up to a tree and he grabs on and then he shakes the tree for his life and you just shake he just shakes the tree until the fruit falls and like I said you can't really do anything to speed this up yeah I think stamina might help but I'm not sure and then after so long of shaking the tree, depending on your chow's power level, uh, the fruit will fall down, you eat the fruit, once the fruit's eaten, you can move on. Ah, second place chip, fuck you. Uh, actually, I think they were in first until they tripped, but ha! Huh. And then if you remember, this is the wall, this is the beginner power stage right here, it's just this one wall you had to climb, and then as soon as we get up this wall, we turn the corner and we're done, so... Um, our power is good enough to hold up, none of them should catch us here, so we're, yeah, we're fine. That one in second place might be a little bit faster at climbing than us, but it's not a big deal. The only thing that worries me is we're near the outside lane. You gotta take the inside corner, man. It's so much faster. And in Chow, it actually does make a huge difference if they take the inside corner or not. And booyah! So there we go. Booby's throwing down. I'm glad I made him look like a normal-ass Chow again. I mean, even though he's white and has a flame on his head. But... I'm glad I got rid of all the other animal parts, except for the flame on the head, just because, I don't know, I never liked the way Chow looked with animal parts. I will tell you, I gave him a bird, it was like the weird purple bird thing, and he had some sick looking wings, but then when I gave him an otter or a gorilla or something like that, they went away. But I wouldn't mind having those again, he has sick looking bird wings. So those are all the jewel races, and like I said, I probably want to train him up a bit more. 
before we come back to tackle round two of any of these. Like, I'm sure we could beat maybe one or two. Oh, wait, no. These are not all the jewel races. So, yeah, once you beat... I forgot about this. Once you beat uh, level one of all these races, you, unlocks Onyx, you unlock Onyx and Diamond. And it'll tell me what they are on the bottom. Key to winning is Brains and Luck. See, these, those are the two hidden stats I told you about before. And just in case I didn't elaborate like I thought I did before... Uh, brains and luck are hidden stats, and they've discovered that chow drives and animals affect the brains and luck stat. Here's the kicker. Chow drives, even though they're, they take way longer to level your chow up with chow drives, uh, they give you double the stats, or double the points into leveling up. They level you up twice as fast as animals do in the hidden brain and luck stats. So and we were never supposed to know this, right? We were never supposed to have any idea that this was a thing. Somebody hacked the game, and they found out that this was in the game. But, yeah, so th that's why every now and again you'll still see me giving my chows, uh, chow drives instead of just animals. And that's because uh, the hidden stat for brains and luck. And brains and luck are actually really important, which you'll find when we do onyx. And along with onyx, we've unlocked diamond. And look at how long that course is. That course is insanely long. And that one is general ability, so it's, uh, it's a mesh of everything. I mean, you know, you're going to do... You're gonna do the whole lot of stuff, so it's just kind of everything combined. But I like these two races. I forgot you got them at level one. I thought maybe we had to get to level three and beat all the level threes before we got these. But I will tell you that both these races are significantly more difficult for your Chow to win uh, than the other ones. We might be able to squeak by this one. The general ability one might be kind of rough. So this is a new thing. Um, this is how they start out. There's a Jack in a Box. I, this, I don't know if this one falls under Luck or Smarts. I think smarts is how quick your chow figures it out, and luck is whether or not uh, the thing comes out and surprises your chow. But as you can see, we got surprise there. So normally what I do, because it's at the very beginning of the race, is I just restart. If my chow gets surprised. And as you can see, um, we're going to go back into this. We have no idea, and there's no way to really know what grade boobies has in brains, um, in brains or luck. We don't know what grade he has, but I can tell you that just from here... From what I saw, he's actually uh, not as smart as the rest of these chow boobies. He's actually kind of stupid. Given his stoner eyes, I don't know. I, I can kind of see it. But anyways, I'll show you guys what I mean right here. So last time I used stamina. <clears throat> this time I won't use stamina. We'll see how it plays out. So you can see he's the first one of the jack-in-the-box. Now this is where brains comes into it, right? How quickly you can figure it out. All the other chow figured it out. Boobies figured it out last, even though he got there first. And it surprised him again. It looked like all the same chow got surprised that time. But yeah, so I probably need to work on giving boobies more chow drives. I might do that um, off camera sometime or maybe in a future session or something like that. Because apparently boobies needs to be smarter. And <laughs> he's totally not smart yet because even these chow, and as you can see, you, by, just by looking at him, you can tell these chow are unevolved. They're still children chow. And they are smarter than boobies. So I will get on giving him some chow drives. I just hate doing that because it takes forever to level him up that way. But as long as I know his brains and luck are going up, it's worth it in the end. So we're going to sprint here. And as you, I get here significantly like earlier than these guys. And I think we all figured out around the same time. Yeah, we all figured it out at the same time, even though I got there that much earlier. And it looks like those ones are just the ones that are going to get you. So I'm going to be getting hit with this every single time, no matter what, I guess. I don't know why that's not changing. Maybe I would have to leave the full chow world and then come back for that to change but all the same chow got hit every single time so this race was rigged from the start we'll see if we can make a comeback although i will tell you unless you're significantly better comebacks like this are pretty hard because basically what i'm looking at now is if i hadn't got hit with that i would have to beat those guys and hit those guys ahead of me by as far ahead of me as they are if that makes any sense no your chow cannot get sucked down into that waterfall and die forever you know what i mean <laughs> Yeah, it's looking like it's going to be a rough one if we're going to catch these guys, especially considering this one tests you on brains and luck and boobies is kind of dumb. We'll see, though. Okay, so this is another section. So, triangle fruit. You're looking for a triangle fruit. So we come up here. Uh, it Again, it's based on how smart you are is how long it takes you to figure out, and then again how smart you are to go to the right fruit. Now, unfortunately for boobies, there's no triangle fruit on the on the field right now. We have to hope one drops in. One didn't. There's no triangle fruit left, so we can't tell if he's actually smart or not. Um, once they make their decision, there's no going back. So he decided on the circle one, and then two triangle ones dropped. Your child will never change to one that's dropped. Why are we frozen? 
Did we just let an we let the other chow go ahead of us? Boobies, you're too nice. What's the matter with you? And then we're gonna come all the way over here and get an Omo Chow dropped on our head. I have no idea. I've never seen that before. I've never seen a Chow wait for another Chow when he was ahead of him. But we're deep in eighth and we're not winning that one. Okay, we're gonna go try the general ability one now because Boobies is <laughs> may not be the brightest bulb in the box as we found out. Look at fucking Phelps is a beast ass looking. All right. Anyways, it's booby time. Can that be his catchphrase? Can we start saying that? So let's try diamond. This one's general ability. I have to be very careful. I cannot use stamina like this entire race. Otherwise, we will probably run out, which would suck. There's that processing again. Excuse me. Let's just be hot in my apartment. I don't know. It's never. I've never seen it be slow before a race like this before. I have no idea. Ready? Okay. We've got the same start. Again, it takes a little bit further. Like, they've stretched it out a little bit more to get here because it's a bigger race. But let's see if we get smashed in the face again. We got there first. We figured it out last. Boobies is dumb. It might be based on brains as to why we're getting hit with this thing. But here we go. We start out in last again because these stupid jack-in-the-boxes. I, the, I don't know if all my other chow I've had are smart, but I will tell you, usually... We have two squiggly faces back here with us. I will tell you that usually, my chow never have trouble with that. Like, they usually figured out early. See, we couldn't fly over that guy. We're behind him, and we were faster than him. We could fly farther than him, and we could swim better than he could, but we couldn't get around him just because he was in front of us. And went, you can't just fly around him mid-flight, you know what I mean? But I don't know about you guys, but I've never had trouble up until Boobies right here. I've never had trouble with chow not being able to figure that stuff out. Now, even if your chow is really stupid like Boobies looks like he is right now, you can always go around that by just giving him a crap load of, I mean, chow drives are animals. And even if he stays stupid for the rest of forever, for whatever reason, if he can get good enough at running and all of his other things, that he will be able to come back and beat these guys. Um, he might not be able to do it now, but I'm saying I could always go back and make him better at other things, like high, raise his level and other stuff, and then eventually he will... It won't matter that he's that dumb. It won't matter that he always gets smacked in the face with a jack in a box based on stupid luck. Um, he'll be able to overcome that. Like, I don't know. That's always that's always an option you have. And it sucks because it's just more tedious work. But it happens. I can't tell you after this I will be uh, force-feeding boobies a bunch of chaos drives in hopes that he can figure that stuff out quicker. Because my first... The first chow I ever had... His name, I named him Elvis, and because I didn't know that you had to pet him with dark people to get him to be a dark character, I always just raised him with good people, and I always pet him and was nice to him, so he just became a hero chow, and he had a big unicorn fro on his head. He looked, he looked a lot like Soul does now. Um, he was really smart, and he was the one I was telling you about where he was he was amazing at running. He kind of sucked at everything else, but he was really, really smart, so he would, he would get here and he would figure this one out, and he almost never, ever, ever picked the wrong fruit. But I really, aside from the unicorns, I almost always uh, raised him with... Almost always raised him with, uh... Chow drives. So we had to pick the wrong fruit again, and I... We, he hasn't been put to the real test yet, it's just because we get hit with the jack-in-a-box in the beginning of the race, so every time we come back to this spot, every time we get here, all the other chow have shown up, they've already taken all the triangle fruits, but they haven't dropped another triangle fruit for him to pick up yet so he's, he's been forced to pick up not a triangle fruit both times he's been here and then he gets ko'd and has to lay there forever so boobies is kind of getting screwed by the system here getting screwed by the man be the equivalent of getting struck by a lightning bolt and then knocked off the edge of the map by a star and then knocked off the edge of the map again as soon as you spawn back in in Mario Kart would be my guess but he's he's not gonna win this one but we're gonna play it out well I tell you what it's crab pool we get up here and then it's you do the crab pool swim again and then you hang a left but even though boobies is kind of stupid and he <laughs> and he's getting screwed by the luck system his luck isn't very good um there are three other race types I still need to show off yet so He's still a faster swimmer than these guys. It's not going to be enough to get him in first. Like, first place is already done swimming, so there's really no point in continuing that one. All right, but we got a couple more races to show off. So this is a... We'll go to challenge race first. I don't know. The more I think about it, the more I think I'm just going to have to start giving him a crap load of chaos drives. So, these are challenge races, and every time you do another challenge race, the skill increase is almost always enormous. Like, the skill jump is huge. So, if I, like... 
if I barely beat these guys, then there's no way in heck I'll ever be able to beat the challenge race after this one. Even if I beat these guys pretty handily, the next challenge race would probably still be really close. Or I would get my butt kicked. But this is the challenge of the strong gold and silver rivals. And this is the, uh, this is the same map you'll notice as the, um, like it's the exact same map as the one I just did, the race I just did, the one that tests your general ability. So it's super long, 